Okay, it's on. You gotta add that little, or, you know, some little, I don't even know what to call it, but. You see, that's my problem, that's why my room's a mess, I just, I'm that type of guy that like, you know, I'm done. That was a bad idea. How did I perfectly hit my guitar with that? Oh my God, what's that? Anyway. So you guys have been asking for this video for like a long time now and I've been not so great in not teaching you guys. So I have this recording. Oh shoot, I don't even have the screen capture on. Let me do that. If you see my last video, the Alice's, this is a keyboard Alice's, the electronic video I did. Anyway, I did like some knob stuff and pushing buttons and activating kicks and snares and hi-hats and you know, arpeggiator kind of stuff and you guys want to know how I did it and I've been telling you guys, oh I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it and, and I never did it because honestly, I've been under that rock seal, you know, that's life, you know, you, you do some stuff and then you just fall in this hole, you're stuck and you gotta come back and you know, that's life, you guys will figure it out and if, if you haven't yet, but um, I'm gonna explain kind of what I did. I have these. I'm not gonna use plugins because I don't. I don't know if everyone has plugins. I highly doubt it because when I first got this, I did not have a single plugin. What can I use? I'll use like a synthesizer because that's what I used in my previous video. But from Serum, my favorite plugin. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool, so let's use that. Okay, I do not like all that mess. Ooh, that sounds nice. Honestly, I don't know if I'm able to use. I'm blah, 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 blah. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that sound. You know, just so you guys know, this is a process, like, in general, if you're getting into music, you're going to have, like, a trillion sounds, and you're going to like two of them. Okay, like, I'm just going to use that to explain to you guys. So, you have these knobs, and usually they control volume by default. Okay, so, back to... The main purpose of this video. What I'm going, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna assign this knob to do like a filter, uh, auto filter kind of thing. So I'll go here and get an auto filter. Do a saw wave. I don't know if you guys saw how I did that. Ableton has it, auto filter, then you just turn the amount all the way up. I put it to the tempo, that's what this is for. The rate, how fast, and I don't don't even know what this is, I don't really care. And let's assign this right here to one of the knobs, because that's what I did in my previous video, how I had it kind of filter in and rise in. It's pretty easy to assign anything, you know, you just up here in the top right, you hit MIDI and all you have to do is click whatever you want to assign and turn the knob and it's like magic. Click MIDI again and now that is controlling what you want.
you get the idea. So that's how you assign a knob and now also how you add like kicks and all that. All I did was, let me look for a kick here. That's not how you spell kick. How is that a kick? This is what I do not like sometimes about sounds. It's like, how is this a kick? That's a fart. That ain't no kick. <laughs> okay, that, that kind of works. Okay, so I got that there. Now I'm going to go to instruments. Drum rack. Drums, there it is. Drum rack. Oh, doesn't work there. Put that there. Grab the sample and put it here. Now, come on, don't be scared. Let me turn this off. So, okay, what I did in the last track, I kind of cheated, not really. I just um added this MIDI, and it's just a a kick every quarter note, that's something like that. And the way I did it is I turn it on and off and you can control that with one of these up here where you'll hit MIDI is again click on whatever you want what button or whatever click it click it on and then it's pretty cool because it like sinks into it and when the lights on the kick is on let me turn this down uh, another thing I used was an arpeggiator and I'll use that in the same thing here. Let me turn it on. And what an arpeggiator does, it's under MIDI effects. It You push a couple buttons, like let's say three, and it just cycles through them. Like it goes up or down, like. That kick is so cheesy. Um, all I can say is, well, that's how you assign knobs, and that's overall what I was doing in that last video. It's just about creativity and any idea you come up with, any cool little thing, practice it. And that's what I did. I practiced it, the coordination. I can't really do it because I need this. This is like the main note, and I broke it. I don't know why. I get crazy sometimes. But you come up with this chord progression, and I learned it. I started to just play it and I signed some knobs that I liked that to control. Like I was like, oh that sounds cool. Put it here, here. But once again, yeah, that's how that's just that's all there is to it. Just have fun, go crazy and get crazy sometimes. Make stuff. Make something, create. That's what it's all about. Yeah.